What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new Absolute Conflicts. Today we have a very special treat. This year is the Robotis OP3. Probably their most expensive robot lineup that is currently on the market and we have it here today. So a special thanks to Robotis for going ahead and sponsoring this video in which if you guys wanted your very own be sure to check out their link down below in the description. So in this episode here we'll be unboxing it, taking a closer look at it as well as trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you get this gigantic suitcase that comes in the mail. It literally comes in just like this. Now, uh, <laughs> this here is a traveling case, meaning you can technically take this wherever, whenever. And it's got these two clips on the side that just kind of open up just like that. So inside here houses our amazing robot. <laughs> what? That is so awesome looking. So this being the humanoid robot is one of their top humanoid robots currently on the market. Um, and then it comes with a variety of different things as you can already notice. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. So we get these two boxes here on the side. So inside here houses our charger cable. So this here is very standard compared to our typical robotics kits. Uh, so we'll see this among all the other ones, including the robotics uh, engineer kit too, which we previously reviewed. And then we have another box as well. So inside here houses some spare parts. So we have some fuses. Uh, looks like we have our USB cable to connect it to the computer. A variety of nuts and bolts in case if we do need to repair it or if we want to build on top of it. Uh, we have some cables. Uh, then we have, it looks like another port here just to go ahead and connect it to the internet. Uh, and then we have some tools. And then of course some standard driver screwdrivers to go ahead and build or open and take care of our robot. And we have ourselves a ball. Now you're probably wondering why is there a ball inside this robotic kit? So this particular robot here can actually kick the ball and see the ball on its own. So it's got a soccer or robotic kind of uh, functionality built into it, which it's a soccer mode where the robot will actually walk up to the ball and kick it uh, based on that. So we'll try that out in a little bit. Uh, now we also have a spare battery pack. So this here is a LiPo 11.1 volt battery. Very heavy duty, definitely heavy duty for something of this nature. So we do get a spare one, which is really nice. And then on the bottom here, we have our power cord. And then lastly, we have our robot. <laughs> what? So you have these handles on the front here. This will kind of help hold it about and same with the back. So very, very tall compared to some of the previous humanoid robots we've seen. Uh, so kind of interesting to look at now. Uh, we also have a user manual or a guide on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and look at that really quick. So we'll just set them down just like that. Okay. So we also have ourselves a manual. This here is like a, more like a quick start guide or like a, like a book to be honest. Uh, so this here is Robotis OP3. Introduction, basic operations, programming guide, stuff of that nature. So we get ourselves a fully f assembled OP3, which is not really something we really see with Robotis that this robot is already built to begin with. Uh, we get three different battery packs. That's really nice. Uh, then we get a battery charger, a e power cord, ethernet cable, wrenches, spare cable, spare parts, spare bolts, the ball, the USB thumb drive. Uh, we have our uh, fuse and hard case and a quick start guide. <laughs> All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So there's an on off switch here on the back, which will go ahead and boot up the robot. It does take some time, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you'll get a blue LED here on the front indicating that we're all ready to go. Now there's three current different programs that are currently built in this particular robot without any programming uh, as it is a demo mode. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and showcase that just right now. Now, obviously we have four different buttons on the back here. So we have different modes. So for now, we'll go ahead and show the interactive motion mode, which will technically demonstrate the robot's capabilities in terms of movements and fluid-like motions. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Start motion demonstration. Thank you. Hi, I'm Robotis LP3. I was born in 2000 as an open source project funded by MSF. I love playing soccer and meeting new people. I have many friends around the world who use me for research and development in various different fields. I've been dancing, playing soccer, working on theater and magic skills. You can see me in action at many exhibitions, 
STEM activities, healthcare experiments, and even rescue mission challenges. What would you like to do with me? I want to learn new things and help other people in need to make a better world for everyone. Let's explore the world together. Wow. So these here are some of the program motions, including like wave, hi, goodbye. Clap, please. This here's a clap. So you can see the fluid-like motions. Oops. So very like natural, very humanistic. Bye bye. And then there's bye bye. Thank you. And a little bow. <laughs> So kind of gives you an idea exactly what that's about. Uh, you can see all the 20 different servos kind of like have a nice fluid movement, which is really nice to see, especially in a robot of this nature. So we're gonna go ahead and click on mode. Demonstration mode. Autonomous soccer mode. Vision processing mode. So this here is vision processing mode. Start vision processing demonstration. So the robot is now currently looking for a face. Uh, so we're going to just kind of rotate it about just like this here and we'll stand out just about this far, far away and see if it can pick up on my face. There we go and there'll be a white LED indicating that it detects your face so you want to stand about nine, this like, thing like this far, there you go. And with that white LED that's currently indicated on the front of the robot, you can see the robot is tracking my face as it rotates its head based on me. So it's kind of cool to see how that all plays out. So the light did go away, meaning it's not able to track me right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of rotate it. I think it might be just a light that's bothering it. So let's try that again. Okay. All right, so it sees me. And you'll notice that it's following my face. That's really cool. So you can technically use this for a lot of different things. So you can essentially uh, count how many people walk past it. Uh, you can do like uh, interaction with it. So it'll, like wave at you and stuff of that nature, which is really cool to see exactly how this robot functions. So that is that mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try out the soccer mode next. So this one here is actually kind of fun. And Let's start. So this robot will start walking around, looking for a ball. You can see how it's kind of scanning the perimeter. Let's say if I put the ball right over here, it will move towards the ball. Oops. And it'll position itself and it'll pick it just like that. So that is really awesome. So we'll continue moving again until it sees the ball. So we'll put the ball right over here. And it'll kick. <laughs> so, kind of get an idea how that works out. So let's. <laughs> that is so awesome. All right, I'll pause it. All right, so for this challenge here, we're gonna go ahead and try the robots engineering kit two against the soccer mode and see if this actually works out quite well. All right, so it's looking for the ball. It sees the ball. Oh, he blocked it. <laughs> so, you can see that he's going towards the ball again. Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, kind of gives you an idea of what this robot's about. Now, obviously, the potential is there. You technically can do a lot with it. Uh, you can always go ahead and expand on it, program it yourself. Uh, do a variation of things. You can technically even build your own 3D uh, body panels for it to give it a little bit more personal look. And yeah, it's actually a great foundation of a robot. Now, obviously there is a lot of details that we could technically go into, but for the demonstration of this particular robot, it kind of gives you a functionality of what it is outside of the box. Now, if you guys had any questions about the OP3, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again to the good folks over at Robotics for sending over this product to review. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.